This this creeper guy isn't moving. Yeah. Do you want to know what it is? <laughs> what is it? It's just a creeper head. <laughs> that is some derpy business. That is all it is. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here on the Hermitcraft Mesa Fied server. I am joined by Mr. Ren Diggity Dog. Hello. Fellow, fellow log fella. <laughs> hello, hello fellow log fella. Ren, what have we just recently done? Well, we're in the process of putting together a secret headquarters um, for the log fellas. Well, not so secret, considering you revealed the location in the oh, stream I did. last night. I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ren. <laughs> I derped tremendously. Uh, that's that's the big thing, though. We did a live stream, didn't we? And we got help from the community to design this base that we're going to build in this episode, I believe. This is our secret underground headquarters, which isn't quite a secret because a lot of people know how to get here now. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, there's a beacon also. Yeah, there's a beacon pointing out exactly where it is as well. So it's maybe not so secret anymore. Um, but we dug out a little bit of space, right? And what we're going to be building is a lot bigger than this. But various people have pitched in their ideas and this little entrance way that we're building right here mm -hmm. was put together by a chap called that Desmo. He was doing a little bit of building in the live stream. We had a pot world server hooked up and we saw this and we liked it. We wanted this to be our corridor leading up to the base. Isn't that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, Desmo's build like really, you know, as we flew past it, we were like, that's perfect. That yes. looks really good. So uh, the, it jumped out us. The idea is right that this is the headquarters of the log fillers. X, we've been having a little bit of uh, problems, shall we say? It feels like you know you, yep. you know what's been happening, X. Let me try and break it down. I, I was thinking about this uh, this morning when I woke up. The fear, it was on the your, fear it was on your mind. You're a true log fella, yes, my friend. It was on my mind. The fear is gone. You know. The fear. the fear is gone. The population of the Hermitcraft server have gotten used to the log fillers. They they no longer, f you know, feel the fear. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. And we need to get it back. So we're going to make ourselves an amazing headquarters. A headquarters that when any hermit walks in here, they're going to go, whoa, the log fillers yeah. mean They're business. going to quiver in their boots. They're going to quiver in their boots. So um, it's going to be awesome. And we got some really great inspiration from the Plot World server. So I think you guys are going to like what... what it's coming. It's going to be sweet. It will be. It will be something. And uh, I'm just doing a little bit of building here, getting this thing going. So this is this is what Desmond designed, and this is this is just like the entrance, right? Mm -hmm. um, the main room which we're going to build in today's video will start. I've lost track of you. <laughs> oh, I'm just derping around. Oh hi. Right. It's going to start <laughs> right here. This is this is like the entrance, and then back here is going to be our giant room. It's going to be a lot bigger than the area that we dug out here. Mm -hmm. And we also want to have some additional rooms like a tickle pit, was it? No, sorry, the tickle room. The tickle room, room aka and the beating up room. The be <laughs> aka the beating up room. And then we want to have our pit, our nice and fluffy friendly pit full of <laughs> death and gloom. Indeed. Uh, uh, basically, yeah. you know, if you come for a meeting with the log fillers and we aren't happy with the, um, the outcome, you either there, get... There's a room for that. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's a room there's for a that. Room for that. <laughs> you either end up in the tickle room or in the tickle pit. Exactly. So <laughs> so this is going to lead up to the main room, the the tickle pit and <laughs> I'm getting them all confused in my brain now. The two rooms can be like on either side. We can just like chip out a bit of this and make yeah. a room on either side, right? Uh -huh. So this is going to go further back in that direction, but for today what we're going to do is just finish building this because we've sort of done one segment which isn't quite finished, <laughs> yeah. and we need to build the rest of this. Sweet. Well, lots of work to do, X. I suggest we get cracking, man. Sounds good. All right, Ren. What's going on right here? <laughs> <laughs> it's coming together, dude. It is. Do you know what? As I hit record, I'm thinking it doesn't look like a lot, but it takes a lot of time. Yeah, no. yeah. So we've dug. We basically dug out the uh, entire chamber. This is how big it's going to be. We still need Ooh. to raise the roof by yeah, we've got to raise, raise the that roof. roof. <laughs> yeah, by probably five, I guess. Um, yes. Which is going to be painful, but <laughs> we're getting it done. Um, we've got a bit of a log fellers shield coming along quite nicely, which is looking decent. We have. Um, I'm just trying to open it up a little bit so we can see that a bit more. It's looking a bit gloomy because there's no lights up there. Yeah, looking a bit gloomy, but here we have our three seats for the three log fillers. They're going to be sitting over here, 
And uh, if you guys can use your imagination, we'll be sitting here overlooking those who come to meet us and making the decision whether or not they need to go into the tickle pit or not. <laughs> Exactly. So that so the people that are our guests in this place are going to be in the pits on the side, right? Yep, yep. We're going to have like a, some some like lounge pits, I guess what they call. They can have a tasty yeah. beverage and something um, like that. I'm not observe. sure. I'm not sure if these like note blocks have been correctly aligned, but they'll they'll go down a step like this because we want to we will sort of want to assert our dominance, so to speak. That's all the stairs I've got. Great. <laughs> Do you have any spruce <laughs> stairs? Uh, not at the moment. I'm I'm full up with with nonsense. Never mind. But... So like we wanna we wanna assert our dominance here. So it's gonna be something like this. We're gonna have these little pits down the bottom here, and they're gonna be like sitting here a little bit lower, you know, looking up at the mighty yeah. friend dog with a big log fella symbol above his head. It's gonna be That's very. That's what menacing. I'm talking about. <laughs> and you know they'll be chatting away, having a couple cocktails, and then we just need to snap our fingers, silence, and uh, you know whoever's come to visit us may enter. That's into right. the chamber, and uh, <laughs> hilarity will ensue. Indeed, indeed. So, <laughs> what is the next step? I think we should get the pits in place and perhaps get the chairs up as well so people can really, like, sense how it's going to play out. Yep, yep. We've got a lot of work to do. We've got to change all of the walls to um, clay or so. Oh, yeah, uh, it's all going to be hard and clay. Out. It's all going to be hard and clay. We've got to raise the roof. Uh, which I tried is to also... do that a moment ago. It, it's really going to be a very high roof. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be high one. So, yeah, X, we still got tons of work to do, man. We better get back into this. Friend Dog? Hi. Cooped up underground for too long. Yeah, we needed some fresh air. <sighs> we should go flying, Ren, shouldn't we? Yeah, I, I kind of feel a face palm approaching, though. Yeah, but, yeah so do I, do Ren. This. Look at me for a second. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> so, listen. Ren, um, look yeah? at me for a second. Okay. I feel a face palm coming on. Do you? I do, yeah. Yeah. Who's going to make this face farm? Probably me. No, I think it's probably me. Now, why would that be? Um, <laughs> you don't have your wings, you derp. I know, I just got up here and I'm like, man, my wings are in an ender chest. Ren, fly over there and I will follow you with ender pearls. Where are we going? Where are we okay. going? Okay, well, I've heard um, a rumour. Yes. That the log fellas are... Uh, under investigation, shall we say. We have been under investigation. Yeah. Oh, I see you flying off in the distance. By the way, I was just distracted by your lovely base. <laughs> oh, thanks. It's looking oh, thanks. so good. I love the lush. Like, oh, it's so cool. It's like, yeah, you've got this big mesa and then you've got that like, little oasis in the middle of it. Yeah, except it is an oasis. It's, been it's getting utterly transformed, man. It's awesome. It's cool. So anyway, Sheriff False, the bacon on the server, bacon. has been has been investigating us, but I've heard that this investigation has been amplified. Oh, okay. Amplified how? What's going on there? Well, apparently, and I've just heard a rumor, um, apparently we have made the top 10 most wanted list. Sorry, dude, had a phone call. <laughs> you are not it's... a professional, Ren. Turn off your phone. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, man. It was my mama. Oh, hang on. Wait, I'm getting a text. One second. Oh, no, I'm joking. The, I'm joking. Who's the professional now? <laughs> okay. Oh. Anyway, so listen. I've, I've heard, as I was saying. You've heard. And yeah, yeah, there we are. There we are. Look at that. I know. I, do you know what? Every time I swing past it, I, I take them off and I put up some, some other faces and we keep, we keep emerging at the top of this list. I don't like it. I don't like it either. I don't like it either. I definitely think that the Swede needs to be up there for once. Yes. So I'm going to stick the Swede up there. And, and Scar as well. We need yeah, to, Scar we need can to divert up. the attention elsewhere, you know? Yep, I agree. Um, I agree. I, I, that looks much better to me. I mean, the, you know, we're not doing anything on the server. Exactly. Um, yeah, we're anything suspicious. Honorable business owners. But I, I do think, though, X, even though we are gangsters, we what? have... I we have borrowed business owners. What are you saying? We're gangsters, right? I mean, businessmen. Businessmen. There we go. Yeah, and and as businessmen, we need to. Uh, I think we need to thank False for, or at least let her know that we're currently using her beacon. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. We haven't even told her. Luckily, she hasn't been on. But we'll have to leave a little sign saying "Borrowing your beacon." Hope you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, but you know what, man? It's look at this girl's base from here. Isn't it looking amazing? It is. I mean, in general, like look at look at tangos, then wells, then you got Iskow. It's and then like you can just continue veering to the side, and you've got scars. But I really want to know what he's built over there. I haven't seen that yet. 
Ren, yeah. we got to go put a sign on Force's beacon, right? Or where the beacon was. Yeah, yeah. But All right, before we do that. that, how about a little detour, yeah? You and me just go hang out off camera and check out Scar's base. Ren Dog. Yo. We're back. We made a little bit of progress. Not yeah, so much since last time. Uh, we're building the pits at the moment, right? Yep, the tables. The ta I was about to say, what are these pistons for? <laughs> The this tables. is where you have your your cocktail while the uh, you know while you're chilling with the log fillers. Exactly. This seat right here is the wrong color. Let's remove that one. Um, yeah. So yeah, these are the seats to have your cocktails with. And awesome. do you want to sit in one of them? Yeah, I'm going to take a load off. All right. And then I oh, we didn't build these, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to be up here. So have a look around. Am I intimidating? <laughs> yeah. You are. Yeah, you are looking. It's weird. You look a lot more beefy than usual. It's because I it's because I got the iron chest plate on. It makes your your upper body look a lot bigger, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, you you look kind of intimidating. So to make it even more intimidating, we're gonna have some some friends, I guess you could say, some bony friends that are gonna be overlooking this. Yeah. So I'm not sure exactly where we intend to put it, but something like this. Um, we're gonna have we're gonna have hardened clay for the walls here, right? So that's gonna be hardened clay. Mm -hmm. Then over here, that's gonna be hardened clay going upwards. It's going to look real nice, but then over here we're just going to have like a window where we have yeah. some bony friends. So then we're going to have hardened clay there. Do you have any more hardened clay, Ren? I do, I do. That's amazing. So, so I, had a feeling I think we might. need to explain what these bony friends are all about. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so this is the wall around them. Yeah. And then this will be their little cage bit. So do you want to so explain what's going on while I build? Here's the thinking, right? In these, in these areas here, in this cage, are going to be skeletons. Of um, individuals who came to see the log fillers, and um, <laughs> the negotiations may not have turned out favorably for them. Yes. And uh, it's a reminder to all of those who come to have a, a cocktail with the log fillers to, uh, you know, make sure to that, wise up, <laughs> to wise up, so to speak, or they might end up in a cage. Exactly. So that'll be where the cage is, right? Nice. Um, yeah. I think the backdrop though needs to be blocks like this. Not. I don't want to fall in this cave. I'm in the. Ren, I feel sad now. <laughs> oh, view, look at you. The view oh. isn't very nice from here. <laughs> oh. How does it feel in there? Does it feel? It feels feel horrible. Like intimidated. I feel. I feel like I want to escape. You know, <laughs> like I want to dig a tunnel. That's perfect. That's Bam. The, that's the perfect vibe we're going for. Now, do you think it needs a little bit of variation, like the occasional andesite and stuff? I think it probably yeah, does. Yeah. So we'll yeah. we'll take care of that. This is going to be on either side of the room. So wherever the guests are sitting, they are going to have some bony friends. And this is where we need the help of some other people here on on the Hermitcraft server. Yep, yep, we do. Uh, we need to go and uh, place some order, I think. Yes, let's uh, head over to the Brown District. Yeah, yeah, we we need some help with this, and we know the company can help us out. Ren, yeah, do you see it. The booger. the booger, yeah. <laughs> I just spotted it also, dude. We spotted it oh, the same booger. time. That thing needs a name tag, dude. We need to name tag that. Uh, the can booger. Can it climb out? It probably can. Is there an? En Why does this shop not have an ender chest? Ren, do you know where an ender chest is? Um, I think there is an ender chest in Scar's Forge okay. shop. Right, I'm gonna be right back, Ren. I'm gonna go grab a, a name tag. That's the one. Are you gonna name the booger? Absolutely, I'm gonna name it booger as well. <laughs> Oh, that's genius. Okay, I'm gonna check up on stocks here. Let's have a look. Do we? Have, oh, there's no empty books in this place. Looks like we've got to get a book oh. as well then. Yeah, we're gonna to have to get a book too. All right. <laughs> a little bit of stuff to do, but we'll be back. Ren, I got you a book, a feather, and some ink sacks to make an order. I've got me an anvil. Thank you. And I've got me a uh, a name tag as well. This this creeper guy isn't moving. Yeah. Do you want to know what it is? <laughs> what is it? It's just a creeper head. <laughs> that is some derpy business. That is all it is. Uh, so we literally just wasted five minutes of our life to... Well, well we got Europe. the book for the order. Uh, so I've yep, got an yep, anvil yep. if ever I feel like doing something with the anvil. Like. Uh, Alright, so let's place this order, right, yeah, shall you we? write in the book. Dear... Dear Derp. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, I made use of the anvil. Thank you. We require the delivery of two skellingtons. Skellingtons, I like it. To Wait, the only two. log. 
two. Okay, how many should we eight. order? Four in each. Actually, that might Delivery be a, of really eight. Bit of a pain for Yeah, go on, just go for two. That might be a pain for them, yeah. So ignore okay. me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we if we require the delivery of two skeletons to the log fellers secret headquarters. That is correct. But we're not gonna tell them where it is because it's a secret, right? Yeah. Or, exactly. or maybe maybe we can trust Tango and Impulse and let them know where it is. Perhaps, perhaps. Um We recommend or shall we say hang on, hang on. The log father recommends a very reasonable price <laughs> sounds good go to the back and there'll be some more light around our log feather sign mm -hmm. eventually it definitely needs a lot more light because it's brown on brown basically <laughs> and there's a beacon beam in the way that's terrible <laughs> um doesn't this look great as you approach it oh, here though it's looking menacing it's looking big cavernous Dude. it's beautiful it's absolutely perfect. When you stand back here, the only thing that you see is the logo. And then as you go in, bam, the whole room just sort of opens up with that being the focal Amazing. point. It is. So there's a lot of hardened clay <laughs> here. And the next bit that we're going to do, I think, actually, I don't know what we're going to do next. But up here, we're going to have a little bit of another color. And then there's going to be a big old shield. Yep. So I don't know how that's going to play out. Also, we have sunlight in this room. It'll be a lot gloomier when we block off ah, the beacon. Ah, the sun's coming through but the beacon hole. Yes, uh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough clay. Enough red clay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to mine some more. Um, so basically, up here we're gonna have a little bit of red being one of our colours, and then we're gonna have a shield design on front of it that hangs down, which is gonna be kind of similar to this one actually, isn't it? Now that I think mm -hmm. about it, so it's gonna be like a mirror of it. So when you're sitting here, you can look out at your minions and you can see the uh, whole yeah, thing up above the big as log well. Fella's flag. Towering yes. over those who are in here, and by the way, exactly. If you want a seat in in this chamber, I mean, you got to be special, you know. You got to bring something to the table, so to speak. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of tables, we need to make a. Oh, we're yeah. going to make a table here in front of the three log fella thrones. That's yeah. right. We're gonna. Have you got a crafting bench? We're going to make this out of stone bricks. Yeah, we're right? going to make it out of stone bricks. Use a little bit of red accent in there. I think we're going for red as the log fella's color. I I, I don't know if we've decided. Yeah, red, 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 and brown. You know, brown, brown's always going to be a log fella's color because it's the yeah, color of yeah. wood, right? But, uh, but red and black. As and well. speaking of of luggage, we got a couple of other big things yes. that we're going to do. We're going to be building a big tree in the corner here. You know, as, as this is the log fellas, we need to represent um, the good old Absolutely log. Absolutely right, and that's going to spread out across the ceiling as yep, well. Yeah, yeah. Which is going to look very Yeah, we're cool. going to get some green in here. It's going to break up the uh, the clay a little bit, and it's going to look a fabulous. Yes. Then on the opposite side, we've gone, gone for something a little bit more artsy. It's like the stump of a tree or possibly a stash of yeah. our logs with some light coming from the back of it, which I think looks I like cool. it. I like it. Yeah, I, th I, I like it as, as a stash of logs, you know. Uh, the thinking being like a, a, a gang would probably have a stash of whatever they are dealing with in the corner of their headquarters, you know, a stash of gold or yeah. um, <laughs> a stash of money or something. Absolutely. So, um, I guess we got some building to do. I know we said we would do the flag. We've also got to do our little seats yep. as well, because we said we'd do that earlier. Got to do the seats, the table, the uh, flag, the trees, and then we should be pretty close to finished. All right, Mr. Rendog. The flag is up. What do you think of that? <laughs> Again, the beacon beam sort of ruins it a little bit. It's looking great, man. Oh, I, I love like it. it. Yeah, you can start to see a little bit of the roof, which is all going to be built out of spruce. And you know, you know, it's going to be a pain to build, oh, nice. right? Yeah, I'm ready for it, though, dude. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready too. we've got a scaffold up and go across and build it all block by block. But that sign right there, I think looks real good. That's also going to change the view as you come in just a little bit. I kind of want this on a shirt. Just sort of see the bottom of it. Oh, do you know what? It sort of blocks off the L. And then when you get to about here, the L is revealed. Nice. We could always we could always nudge that up and make it a little bit smaller, couldn't yeah, we? Yeah, we can try. Maybe we have a yeah slightly smaller, um, hmm. Hmm. a shield, whatever you want to yeah. call it. <laughs> um, so over here, by the way, we have some banners underneath the seats. This is a little detail that people use, and it's quite simple, really. You've just got glowstone down there. So when the banner goes inside the block, it's lit up. If you put a block here, they go black. Ah, I see. Yeah. 
It's a bit odd, isn't it? But either way, that makes our seats nice and luxurious and ready for sitting very on. Very nice, very nice. You got your one in the middle. I'll sit. I'm, I'm your left hand man. <laughs> I'm on the left side over here. We'll have Python seat on the right. Uh, uh, and we just need to remember to grab some item frames. That's right. right. We need some item frames. Um, have a little cushion for the head. We need to do the roof. We need to do the trees. And uh, we're almost there. We we did this table also, which is looking real schnazzy. Oh, yeah, yeah. The table's finished. I like it. So, X, we're making some slow but steady progress on this roof, aren't we? It has been slow, hasn't it? Yeah. Mainly because someone has been falling off. Ah! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry uh, about that. That's all right. That's... <laughs> about the 50th time I've fallen off. Um, I mean, we've decided to go, you know, we could have just made it a flat roof, but as this is going to be the Logfellas HQ, it's got to be a sweet roof, right? It's it, got to be a big and crazy yeah. roof. And it was this, like the majority of what you're seeing, like straight ahead of us was built by um, two builders who are part of the live stream. They logged on, they shared their designs with us, Sludge Mart and Bernie Decaf. Yep. Thank you if you're watching, guys. Uh, this room is absolutely lovely. And the roof is all their design. We sort of modified this end with our little tables down the side mm -hmm. here. Um, but again, like the power of the community, right? That's we what were, I'm talking about. We were struggling to pick <laughs> we were. what we were going to go with because there were just endless amounts of beautiful designs. Um, but Bernie and Sledgy, man, they, uh, they, they knocked it out of the park with this one. Sledgy? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Got a new nickname. Um, yeah, so we've got like, what have we got to do up here? We've got to put in some dark oak beams that go across and then yes. some spruce leaves, like not placed like this. This is our temporary scaffolding. And then, then that's done. And then that's probably everything, right? That's the last bit. That's the lot, man. We've got the big tree in here in the corner looking real nice. Yep, that's um, been done pretty well. And when we get the cross beams in X, then we're going to get the leaves growing from the tree in and amongst the cross beams all over the roof. So that's going to look, look great. so good, man. Yeah. It's going to look so good. So um, we need to take the beacon back now. We decided that we're done with it because it's also in the way of where we're trying to build. Yeah. And what's... I don't even know what the quickest way out of here is now because I tell you what, it's going up there and throwing an ender pearl. You got an ender pearl? No. <laughs> Can I have one? Yes. Let's make our way over to, uh, to where False's beacon is. Yeah, we need to get the beacon back to the bacon ASAP. <laughs> so X, man, Brown District's looking killer, isn't it? I love it here, man. So ah, much stuff so to look cool. at. We now got a killer bunny here. <laughs> got a giant bunny. We got a TNT shop. Oh, man, this place is rocking. Um, there's something else that's rocking in this Brown District, though, that I want to show you, sir. And uh, Don't forget the beacon. <laughs> oh, the beacon. Oh, is yeah, this where the beacon down. goes? Yes, right there. All right. Boop. Excellent. Sweet, nice. what do you want to show me, Ren? <laughs> so, there's something worrying me. Maybe you can see it in the distance. I can see a giant tree. Yeah. I do want to say that might be the most beautiful tree I've ever seen. It could possibly be the most beautiful Minecraft tree that I think I've ever seen. It is amazing. That is gorgeous, yeah. That is quite something. Now, it is gorgeous and it is beautiful and it is by the very talented artist Good Times with Scar. But I've heard through the grapevine that uh, there is some shenanigans going on in this tree. I've heard something like that too. And I, I, I want to do some investigating. It doesn't look to be any entrances. I think Scar knows that we're onto him. Yeah. Um, we may have to wait. It doesn't look like he's opened his doors just yet, does it? No, no. But I'll tell you what, we might have to speak to Python about this. Hmm. See yes. if we can get him to do some investigating. See if we can get him into this tree, because it uh, looks like it's sealed up pretty good. But I've been hearing rumors from the uh, from the Logfeller fans out there that this might be detrimental to our business. So, yeah, I've got to keep an eye on this one. Ren? Yes? I want you to stand in the middle of this room. Okay. I want you to look forward and tell me what's wrong. Um... Begins with G. Ends in E. Um, <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. I don't know. My brain stopped working. I'm going to give you a hint. How is this for a hint? If I stand here and jump up and down. G and ends with an E. <laughs> G Ren! <laughs> it's not that hard. Glowstone. Yes. What's wrong with it? It's one too. It's one too low. <laughs> it is. I've made a mistake. Uh, we'll fix that in a second. But otherwise, that means this room is done, right? Finito. Pretty I much. Think. I mean, there's still, there's a little things to tweak here and there, but it's pretty much done, I reckon. Yeah. 
We've been cranking out this room for hours, right? This has been no luxurious ride. <laughs> uh, we've been working on this now for what, about six hours, I would say. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, this has been some serious <laughs> Minecrafting. And, uh, and there's a few other details, like we want some bookshelves in the room, we want some flower pots on the desk. Yes. Mm -hmm. Other little bits and bobs. And of course, if you guys have any suggestions for details to go in this room, like comment away, let us know, because we want to we wanna make this look amazing. It's 99% it's there, though. And the spruce leaves around, they just they bring the room to life, don't they? They really do, man. They make the whole thing pop. I mean, you know, the, the, the important thing about this room are, you know, is, is the log fillers place. You know, if you come in here, you're going to stand in front of this giant table feeling intimidated. The log fillers are going to question you. <laughs> they're going to point their arrows gonna, at you. They're going to point their arrows at you. You haven't got our diamonds. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll go work immediately. I'll go work. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. It seems so fitting. Excellent. It's brilliant, man. We've got our tree in the corner, you know, growing out over the cavern. We've got uh, these cages that are going to hold skeletons to intimidate those who are drinking some cocktails over here. Oh, man, this place is just... It's, it's met the intimidation brief pretty well. I think. Yes, it has. And Ren, I think that just about rounds things up for us. It certainly does. It certainly does. In today's does. Logfellas episode, minus, minus Python. <laughs> Let's not forget Python. Yeah. We don't, know, we don't know where he is at the moment. He's he's on a camping trip or something, I think. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, peeps, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please do like, leave a like on the video. Thank you, as always, for your support. And we'll see you in the next episode. We'll see you later, guys. Ciao for now.